Alright, what we're looking at is the plane derm hinge tape. There it is there. Okay, you'll see it's uh, it's quite flexible and quite malleable. That's it there. I'll just show you the best way to uh, to attach it to the surfaces. When you're cutting it, the best thing to do is to lay it out on a, a ruler or even the glass surface would be good. And just cut it with a, a razor. Now for real micro models, you're going to want to cut that in half as well. Okay, it's okay, you can re-stick it, unstick it, and re-stick it. Especially if it's a, a metal surface or a glass surface, it's not going to take any of the stickiness off it. So you can put it down, take it back up, it's still quite sticky. You can do that a number of times. Okay, so once we've got our piece of tape, we'll have a look at how we're going to put it onto a control surface. Okay, here's the uh, tail section we've got here. Okay, we're just going to have a look at putting it on there. Now I've got this, so uh, there's about a millimetre gap in between. I'm just going to lay it across the surface and press it down. Now the other piece will go on the other side. Uh, just one important thing here is to not put them directly opposite each other to offset them a little bit. So we'll just do that. You can see the first one is, is over here. So the second one I'm going to put it here. Now, the reason for that is if you if you do put them directly opposite each other in the middle bit here, it's quite uh, quite sticky and they'll stick together in the middle there and become stiff. So we always offset them on each side. Okay, so there's the tail section there. Okay, you can see it holds and uh, it bends actually quite easy. There we go. So that's the blender hinge tape.